Hello there gaming fans as well as my amazing YouTube subscribers and a welcome back to American Truck Simulator. If you are new here, this is my channel, Boston Gaming, and if you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and leave anything down below in the comments. Other than that, guys, uh, this is my first video back. It has been a little while, but uh, you know, this series is a good series for me to, you know, just be able to talk to you guys, see what's up you know give you guys an update on what's going on with me and life and things like that so uh, if you can't tell um, looking around I actually got a Toby eye tracker uh, as well as a head tracker uh, it's kind of a two-in-one type of situation uh, situation so here we are in the cabin of the truck and like if I like look at my let's say my right mirror on the far right side so all I do is look over there and it looks automatically the right front one, right, uh, left front one, left rear one right there. And it'll literally switch between them without me moving my head at all, which is one of the biggest reasons I wanted to get this one in particular. It was a, uh, a toss-up between the Toby Eye Tracker um, and the um, Track IR. That's what it was. And I kind of compared them both, and the difference being is the Toby Eye Tracker can do more things has more functionality it also supports more games uh, not necessarily natively uh, but it does have a application called vjoy uh, that it actually configures automatically you just download the software and toby goes ahead and and does that just like in america truck simulator it is not supported natively however you can tell i'm able to use it now uh, i can literally look left i can look right uh, up and down and anywhere else i want to look uh, and then change all those settings as I see fit. Let's go ahead and look at the cargo I'm taking. It's a uh, gypsum. And as of right now, we are in Socorro, uh, New Mexico, I believe. And we're it's just a quick little run. Uh, but we are heading to... I can never say the name of it. Alamogordo. So, Alamo Gordo. So, it's only about a three-hour trip. So, I figured I'd get a little bit of talking in while we were sitting here. Well, let's go ahead and jump out on the road so you can see what this bad boy can do. Uh, so, this is one of the, the the few things that I was really here recently trying to uh, to get. Uh, it's something that I've wanted for a little while. Uh, I just, again, was trying to decide which one I wanted to get. Did I want to get the Track IR or did I want to get the, uh, the Toby Eye Tracker, which obviously ultimately went with the Toby Eye Tracker. I was actually able to get it to work for GTA as well, so I'm going to be able to use it in my uh, LSPDFR videos, which is really cool. Uh, I did get to try that out a little bit. It does have, oh gosh, I think I just hit that truck or that car. <laughs> I didn't get fined or anything, so I don't know if I did or not, but... It made a noise like I did, but usually you'd get fined if you did. It's been a while, guys. Just throwing that out there. It has been a while. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video as well, and I do apologize about that. Just life and work kind of got in the way. Uh, but everything should be slowing down and getting back to normal now. So, you know, we'll just have to kind of see what's going on. And uh, I do plan on doing more and getting back into it more uh, than I have here recently so I do appreciate all of you guys kind of bearing with me uh, there's a lot of things that I wanted to do so I keep looking over <laughs> at my OBS again it's been a while and I'm just making sure everything's working correctly uh, in the way it's supposed to so uh, anyway uh, there are a lot of things that oh I'm taking a left here I thought I was taking a right a lot of things that uh, I wanted to talk about today uh, a lot of good things. Like I said, uh, just work has been busy. Really? <laughs> Look at that ATS. Uh, one of which, I'm getting a new computer table, uh, putting it together. I was going to paint it today uh, because what I got was actually a, uh, a, a, a motorized stand to where it can get, you know go up and down. 
as I see fit and be able to stand and then sit and sit and then stand and so on and so forth. Well, then I decided to get a, a walnut countertop, uh, which it is 74 inches uh, long. So, I mean, it's, it's quite long, but it should be perfect for my setup that I have. And uh, so I've got to stain that and then, you know, seal it. And then uh, shortly after that, then I will be able to, you know, show you guys what that looks like. I am, I have decided here recently, I'm going to go ahead and do a, uh, a review or a reveal of my gaming setup. Uh, here soon I'm not promising it right now because there are a lot of things I'm going to be getting over the next couple of months uh, one of which is going to be a uh, well, the wheels on that car weren't moving a gaming cockpit uh, so I can actually play LSPDFR sitting in a chair uh, and I don't have to worry about my steering wheel and pedals picking you know, taking them off and putting it back on the table and off the table on the table depending on what game I'm playing uh, so oh yeah I think right so I decided to go ahead and take care of that. Uh, and I don't want to show you guys everything until I actually get those in uh, and actually get that ordered and get the monitors and things like that. So just kind of expect that over the next couple of months at some point. Uh, but I'm excited about it. And then you guys will be able to see my table. And oh, I'm going to go ahead and go over. Sorry about you. Oh, really? That like the red car is not going to slow down or stop. I gotta get off here, man. It's a good thing. I gotta, ex I gotta extend this thing out a little bit. Every once in a while, you'll see me look down. It's because I'm looking at my control panel, and since it follows my eyes, then it's. Ugh. Anyway, so what I was talking about with GTA, I am all over the place today, but uh, I was able to get it to work for GTA for LSPDFR, so I can actually be like running radar on the side of the road. And then, like looking out my left window while you know cars are speeding by, and you know I had it before where I would use my joystick uh, to be able to look left and right, and uh, you know things like that, which was fine for the time. But unfortunately, it was not. It wasn't perfect, and you know the eye tracker for GTA isn't perfect either, strictly because it is a mod. It is not like a, you know, it's not fully supported or anything like that uh, by Toby. So it is a mod, but I was able to get it to work with the mod. Uh, my only issue that I have with it is, and it's so weird, it doesn't make any sense. Maybe you guys will be able to help me with this. Uh, maybe whenever I do a video and you see what I'm talking about. But the faster you go, your car starts to shake. Now, I don't know if that is that particular mod or if that was something else that I put in. Uh, I don't know. I might have to take an installation that I have, add in the Toby and see, you know, just with no extra vehicles or plugins or anything like that, just to see if it'll work. Uh, but uh, the faster you go, you'll see the car shake and then it'll stop and then it'll start to shake again. And sometimes it's pretty violent. <laughs> But uh, it's something I can I can actually look past. It's nothing that is you know absolutely ridiculous, and something that I can't. Oh, we were going back. Yeah. Oh, I. Jeez, idiot. Freaking jerk. Anyway, it's nothing that I can't deal with, uh, strictly because of the fact that again you know since it follows your eyes. I could be looking out my left window, I see a speeder. As soon as I look forward, like through the front glass, the camera stops there. The problem with the joystick that I had was that I had to get it perfect. And I could move it over, but it wouldn't go to the center. It would go to, you know, wherever I stopped, you know, pushing it over at. And that was a big issue because, you know, it always put me behind trying to catch up to the vehicle and things like that. So I'm going to do a little bit more testing and stuff but the next video that I do for LSPDFR will have the Toby integration which I'm excited about because again uh, if you're thinking about getting one and you're just looking for something that you know does a good job at face tracking or head tracking or even eye tracking it does it all 
Uh, so, you know, that's definitely something that is beneficial. And the Toby is definitely something I would suggest having. Uh, because, you know, even logging into Windows, it works with Windows Hello on Windows 10, so I can log in using my face. So, that's really nice to have. I don't have to worry about typing in my password or username or anything like that. It just logs in with my face. So, that's pretty neat. And then, you know, obviously for games. Now, even games that aren't supported, you can... They have this cool little feature where you can have a little circle at where your eyes are actually meeting like where they're actually at on the screen and so like games like um, like Rainbow Six Siege that's uh, a phone so Rainbow Six Siege you can like anywhere you look you'll see a little circle and it's really neat uh, coming from somebody who's actually like watched the videos of somebody playing the game that is you know watching this circle move around because it's interesting to see where people are looking when they're playing these types of games and you know that alone I think is awesome so anyway if you've ever wanted to get one or get something like that uh, I don't have a track IR so I can't say that it is better or worse uh, but you know I like it a lot I, I do I think it's a perfect uh, addition to my gaming setup Especially for American Truck Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator. Uh, it's something that you can add to both. And it adds so much more realism. I liked the VR part of it, of American Truck Simulator. The only problem I had with the VR version is I couldn't get it to look right in my headset. And it bothered me because it was kind of blurry. It didn't look as crisp and clean as you can see out here that it is now. Uh, it just wasn't as, it didn't look as good and that was a big problem for me because I want it to look good I don't want it to look like garbage so that was something I had to work on uh, and I just couldn't get it no matter how many videos I watched and you know setting modif modifications I did it didn't matter uh, I just could not get it to uh, look the way I wanted it to or look the way it does now like watching it here like on this game so Oh, I shifted up too many. There we go. Man, been a while. <laughs> been a while. Anyway, so I'm still even working on my settings for uh, my OBS and stuff like that. So I hope this video doesn't come out as garbage. But knowing my luck, it will. At least I don't have audio issues anymore. So that's always a plus. Uh, I am about to reach 500 subscribers, which is really exciting. Uh, you know, it's been less than a year. Uh, well, it's been a little more than half a year. So 500 subscribers in roughly half a year. Uh, it's not too bad because this is a very tough market to be in. You know, again, I have a full-time job, you know, so I do YouTube for fun. Uh, because I want to meet new people. I you know, work from home, so I get to meet people, I get to talk to people, get to interact with people on Discord and you know, when I go live and things like that. And those are relationships I wouldn't have unless I was you know, doing this, you know what I mean? So uh, I really do appreciate all of you guys who kind of bared with me through this last you know, month and a half or so of uh, you know, not being able to post as often as I would like. Uh, but hopefully that will be coming to an end and I will get back to doing regular uploads. And, you know, I just, I enjoy it so much. Uh, I enjoy recording and I enjoy getting things that make games and uh, things more interactive for me, uh, more interesting for me. You know, just like, you know, this Toby Eye Tracker, being able to just look which mirror I want to look at and that's how I would actually drive, so it's beneficial uh, for me. And, you know, I hope you guys like it too. You know, the camera does move around a lot, but uh, that's exactly how my head would be. <laughs> like in a car, because there's literally nothing different. Like, I would be looking at the same things now that I would be if I was actually in real life driving this 18-wheeler, so. Hopefully it doesn't make any of you guys sick. That's all I gotta say.
Uh, I do look forward to the new DLC coming uh, sometime in the next couple of years. <laughs> uh, the Oregon DLC. Uh, there's no telling when it's going to be released, but, you know, hopefully, hopefully it'll be here soon. Sooner rather than later. I need to go, I'll just go ahead and get over. Since nobody's over there, I don't have to worry about anybody over there. Oh, a little close. A little close. Man, there's my drop right there. This was a quick one. But yeah, this, you know, this series is great to just, you know, talk to people and uh, kind of give you guys a heads up with what's going on with me and my life and things like that. Uh, other than that, uh, we have so much traffic. <laughs> Look, look at all the traffic out here, man. That's ridiculous. Like, over there is just absolutely pathetic. Uh, I do have a traffic mod in here to add a little more realism as well. So it's not so bland. Which is unfortunate because it does eat a lot of resources, but... You know. Nah. <laughs> so, I do hope everything is going well with you guys. Uh, I, I really do. Yeah, I know it's been a while since I've talked to a lot of you. But I appreciate you know, all of you guys watching the videos. Uh, I do want to get back into uh, another good series that I have, which is uh, House Flipper. Um, th that's something that I want to get back into here soon. I've actually gotten pretty far already. The Hurricane Patriot. <laughs> that's nice. I like that picture. Looks like uh, Walker, Texas Ranger. Uh, but anyway, so, you know, that was a good series, and I really liked the game, and I want to be recording some more of those videos, uh, because I just, I just haven't been able to, I think it's right here, I'm going to go ahead and use two lanes, just going to have to be okay with it. Oh, I don't see a drop here, though. Oh, it's because I've already, I've got it set all already. Oh boy, this is a terrible drop. This should be fun. Should be fun. Trying to whip it around over here. You gotta have a trailer right there, because why not? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do what I was wanting to do, which is just turn right there, but I'm gonna have to Go the long way. Of course, I'm doing this blind on this side. Dad, gum it. Not a whole lot I can do about it, though. I can't even see the. I guess I can kind of see them. I uh, hope I'm not too far over. Should be okay, I think. I think I'm gonna barely miss him. Barely miss him. Maybe I can get it turned a little bit. Nope, I'm flat out missed it. Dad, gum it. Cut it too early. Cut it too early. Oh, another thing I'm wanting to get is the. Uh, the shifter for America Truck Simulator that they make. Uh, that's the actual truck truck one. Uh, because of this stuff. You know, like, I want to be able to make it more realistic. I hate doing it blind over here. Good grief, I hate it so much. But I can't see, which is the annoying thing. But it's got to be difficult. It has to be difficult. I think I'm missing it again. Uh, maybe not. Uh, straighten it up here. I got it. It could be worse. I'll tell you, my parking has gotten a lot better with this Toby, though. I actually see where I'm going. Because, you know, there's always that delay, right? When you're 
you know, even use whatever you're using to look left and right. You know, your car, your truck is still moving, and you've got to, you know, with it still moving, you've got to do do something. You got to turn left, you got to turn right, or something like that. And since it moves so much faster with the Toby thing, then I, I can actually make those adjustments on the fly as opposed to waiting around. So it's pretty nice. Excellent. Uh, Gypsum delivered from Socorro to Alamo Gordo. 129 miles, 3 hours, 23 minutes, 29.6 gallons, and 6,976, and 290 XP. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. Do hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Really do appreciate that. I do appreciate all of you as well, and I will see you guys in the next episode.